Covering Hilo to Kona, Javi to Na'alehu, this is Big Island Video News. I'm Stephanie Salazar. An official examination of the procurement practices of the Department of Transportation's Airports Division has revealed that a dependence on and accommodation of contractors subverts the public interest. The report, issued by the Hawaii State Auditor, asserts the division surrendered oversight and management responsibilities to contractors and found a pattern of recurring violations and questionable practices. Lots of taxpayer money was tied up in these contracts in fiscal years 2009 and 2010. Approximately 30 percent of the department's total procurements of $417 million and $467 million in goods and services, respectively. For example, when the division hired Parsons Transportation Group, Incorporated to manage its 12-year, $1.7 billion modernization of the Honolulu International Airport in 2006, the division also removed itself from parts of the decision-making process, surrendering key oversight and management responsibilities. The auditor says this disengagement resulted in questionable allowances to the program manager, such as the provision of rent-free facilities and the reimbursement of $570,000 in office renovation expenses and $21,000 for so-called team-building training. On the neighbor islands, the airport's division failed to do a cost analysis for the construction of field offices for projects at the Hilo, Lihue, and Kahului airports. The eventual amount paid for the construction of one individual field office was nearly $1 million, almost 30 times the amount estimated it should have cost. In another instance, the division could not procure a new security contract in a timely manner, allowing the original contract to be extended three times, exceeding the original term limit by 16 months and $37.7 million. The department did not disagree with nor dispute any of the auditor's findings. The search continues for a 62-year-old Honoka'a man who was reported missing on Tuesday. Kevin Devlin, also known as Sean Devlin, was last seen on Monday, May 13th in Waipio Valley, where he reportedly told fellow campers he was going for a swim. His belongings were found near the shore, but he was gone. Devlin is described as Caucasian, 5'10", 160 pounds, with short, thin white hair. Police ask anyone with information on his whereabouts to call Officer Dion Santiago at 775-7533 or the Police Department's non-emergency line at 935-3311. Tipsters who prefer to remain anonymous may call Crime Stoppers at 961-8300 in Hilo or 329-8181 in Kona. All Crime Stoppers information is kept confidential. Also, a reminder that the Anonymous Community Satisfaction Survey about the Hawaii Police Department ends this month. The Internet survey opened May 1st and will remain open until 4 p.m. Friday, May 31st. It can be accessed at the hawaiipolice.com website. Police say it takes about five minutes to complete and is limited to one survey per computer. Participants will be able to enter detailed comments and suggestions at the end of the survey. The respondent's IP address will not be stored in the survey results. The responses will be collected and compiled by an outside source, the department says. After the survey period, results will be posted on the police department's website. The school year may be over and diplomas may have been awarded, but there are still a lot of dedicated students continuing their work. A student team from the University of Hawaii at Hilo recently won the prestigious 2013 U.S. Microsoft Image Cup Championship held in San Jose, California. The national finals featured the top 10 U.S. teams pitching their innovative ideas, which are supposed to address the world's toughest problems. To investors, entrepreneurs, and technology professionals for a chance to win cash prizes and support for their businesses. UH Hilo's team Poliahu, comprised of seniors Mike Purvis, Katen Summers, Wallace Hamada, and junior Ryder Donahue from the UH Hilo Computer Science Department, topped the field of competition with their application entitled Help Me Help which focused on community help for disaster relief efforts. The app allows users to upload images of nearby hazards through their smartphones, helping emergency responders. 
Team Captain Purvis said the idea grew out of a senior project to design software that could track native and invasive plant species. Website is done, Windows Phone is done, uh, Android app is done, and we are ready to start working. We are Help Me Help, and during an emergency, we know there is a big opportunity to help victims and responders use our common technology responsibly and be adequately compensated in the process. The team now heads to St. Petersburg, Russia for the Image Cup Worldwide Finals in July. The dates for the Big Island Taiko Festival 2013 have been set. The University of Hawaii at Hilo's Performing Arts Center presentation will take place on Saturday, June 8th, 7.30 p.m. and Sunday, June 9th at 2 p.m. The festival will feature performances by Tai Shoji Taiko, Hui Okinawa Kubudo Taiko, Puna Hongwanji Taiko Club, and Kona Dai Fukuji Taiko. Call 974-7310 tickets or order online at artcenter.uhh.hawaii.edu. This is Big Island Video News for Thursday, May 16, 2013. I'm Stephanie Salazar.